dear learners hope you all are good i'm sure you all love listening to stories don't you so you all love animals also so let's start our learning today with a short story which is about a dinosaur who lived in a jungle the name of the story is the hungry dinosaur so once there was a dinosaur who lived in a deep jungle he lived in a cave so let me take you to his cave look at the dinosaur he is inside the cave but then he started to feel hungry so he di- decided to go outside the cave to find food so now you see he is outside the cave the dinosaur went to the jungle and in the jungle he saw a tortoise and a rabbit playing together he thought to himself hmm i found my food finally but wait which animal should i eat he decides to eat the bigger animal as he was very hungry children can you guess which animal would be the bigger of the two you are right dear children the rabbit is the bigger animal as you all can see so the dinosaur decides to catch and eat the rabbit just when the dinosaur was about to run and catch the rabbit he saw a deer coming towards the tortoise and the rabbit so he saw that the deer also joined the tortoise and the rabbit now and they all started playing together the dinosaur again got thinking hmm who should i eat now of course the biggest of all animals because i'm even more hungry now can you help the dinosaur to find out the biggest animal children is rabbit still the biggest animal here no it isn't is deer the biggest oh yes now the deer is the biggest animal among the three we can see that isn't it dear children before we move ahead in the story i want you to see and understand what is meant by near and far this is a dinosaur and this is a tree the dinosaur is near the tree now the dinosaur is moving and is going away from the tree so he is far from the tree see near the tree far from the tree if the deer is here also and the dinosaur is here which animal do you think is near the tree yes it's the dinosaur so now let's go back to the story now can you tell which animal is nearest to the tree so who do you think is it is it the dinosaur the rabbit or the tortoise let us see oh the tortoise is nearest to the tree children do you know why did we use the word nearest instead of near well we use the word nearest instead of near when we compare the position of more than two objects or in this case animals we will not say the tortoise is near we will say the tortoise is nearest to the tree of all animals okay learners now let's come back to the story of the dinosaur just when the dinosaur was about to run and hunt the deer he saw a giant dinosaur sleeping under a nearby tree now the dinosaur was the biggest of all the animals present there so a little dino got frightened he shouted oh no a giant dinosaur if he wakes up we all will be dead run everyone run for your life now and all the animals heard the dino and ran away to save themselves poor little dinosaur was left as hungry as ever did you enjoy the story learners i'm sure you did do you notice the tree and wait isn't there a bird also children where is the bird sitting the bird is sitting on the top of the tree and where is the giant dinosaur sleeping dinosaur is sleeping at the bottom of the tree so the highest position is called the top and the lowest position is called the bottom you know one day rohan went to a park he took his teddy bear and ball along now he wanted to run in the park so he put his toys on a slide can you see where he put his teddy bear and the ball the highest position of the slide is the top of the slide the lowest position is the bottom of the slide can you tell for yourself if the ball is at the top or the bottom of the slide 
So, the ball is at the bottom of the slide and the teddy is at the top, isn't it children? While in the park, Rohan saw three beautiful trees. He started thinking, which of the three is the smallest of all? Here you can see three trees. Let us see which of the three is the smallest. The one which is nearest to Rohan is the smallest of all trees. Do you like to blow bubble children? See, isn't it fun? Wow, what lovely bubbles. I know you all love to blow bubbles. Now see if you can identify the biggest bubble. There are many bubbles. Can you spot out the biggest of all? Yes, this is the biggest bubble. Look at all these beautiful cats. Can you tell which cat is nearest to the food bowl? Can we now find out the cat? which is farthest from the house. Let's see. In the last part of the lesson, let's learn about above and below. So one fine day, Rohan goes out to the park again. He sees clouds in the sky. Where are the clouds? The clouds are above Rohan. Now he looks down and sees a lot of green grass under his shoes. So we say the grass is below him. Above and below are words which tell you where something is, what is the position of an object or thing. But there has to be a context regarding which we are talking. Like we are talking about Rohan in the park. What is above him? What is below him? So he is the context. Now if we talk about the clouds, what do you think is above the clouds? and what is below the clouds. So the words above and below tells you the position of things in relation to any specific object or thing. Take a look at the table. Who do you see is above the table? Who is below? Is it the cat or the dog? In the pictures beside the table, we see a cloud and an aeroplane. Where is the aeroplane? Is it above or below the cloud? Till now, we have discussed about inside, outside, bigger, smaller, biggest, smallest, nearest and farthest. Top, bottom, above and below. Now it's time to say goodbye to you. But before going, I want you to complete a scenery that I started. So I painted a hut and few mountains. I did some part of it but could not complete it. You have to complete the scene using the given clues. So you have to draw three clouds above the mountain shown in the landscape. Next you have to draw a river flowing below the mountain. Can you draw a cat also sitting inside the house? Next you will draw a cat sitting outside the house. Now next you draw a tree which is near the house and add one more tree which is far from the house. Then draw a brown bird sitting on top of the tree and the tree should be the one which is near the house. Next you draw a blue bird sitting at the bottom of the house and again the tree will be the tree which is near the house. Lastly you draw four flower pots of different sizes outside the house. Then you circle the biggest spot of all. Can you do that children? I am sure you love doing it. So dear children, I hope you enjoyed learning today and you love the stories which you listen to. So it's time to say bye bye to you. I thank you all. Have a great day ahead.